happy crafters and I just made a video showing you how I decorate my tiered trays for fall and someone had asked me how do you make a tiered tray or can you DIY a tiered tray? Oh yes you can and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it along with some affordable tiered tray options. It all just goes away and things are clear to say oh baby all right, now I couldn't find the video of me making the tiered tray, so let me show you this in really quick time. So I went to Dollar Tree and in the crafter square, I got two of the round pieces of wood. And then using some beads, just like I'm doing here, I basically made a round, like a stacked round, using the beads to separate the two round pieces and they are definitely going to give a little bit of dimension to this project. And I just put the beads on, attached them with some hot glue, then put another layer of hot glue on top of the beads and then attach the other round piece. So again, this is a smaller version, but look at how cute that is. Isn't it adorable? And next I took some folk art wax. This is the dark wax. And I just coated all of the wood with the wax. Now it is a little bit challenging to get that wax in between those beads in the center. So just take your time. You may even wanna use a smaller paintbrush just to make sure you get a nice thick coat of the wax that's going to cover all of the natural color of the beads. Now, if you wanted to leave this a natural color, you could, but for mine, I want it to mostly match that big round tray that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I'm using the wax to try and darken this up and have it match that tray. It kind of looks like a giant Oreo cookie. And again, I'm just showing you an example because I lost all of the footage of where I was actually making that larger round circle with the beads in between. So basically this is the same process. You put the wax on and then you wipe it off. You want to get the excess wax and if you wanted to have it be even darker, you could do another layer of wax once the first layer is dry. And here are my wood rounds with the beads in the center and it makes a really nice tray. So then I found this candlestick at Hobby Lobby and I just put a couple of coats of the folk art wax on it to darken it up because I want it to look like it is meant to be that way. Does that make sense? So I did do a couple of coats of wax. So I did one coat of wax, wiped it off, let it dry. And then this is the second coat because this was actually a white candlestick and I want it to look like it's been stained. And then I just wipe off the excess wax again. And that is looking a lot more like what I was hoping to have it look like. And then I took my candlestick and I attached it to the center of the round piece. Okay. 
And you do want to make sure that you get this candlestick, if you're going to be doing this project, into the center. So I did use one of my Cricut tools and basically figured out where this round piece of wood was. And then I used the glue and just secured the candlestick to the bottom of the wood round. And that is the top portion. And here is the bottom portion of my tiered tray. And I don't want to secure the top portion because I may want to use this tray in the future. So now this can just rest. And now I have a two tiered tray, which is pretty tall. And if you don't have that, all you have to do is take a Dollar Tree charger. You can place that on the bottom. That's gonna be the bottom of your tiered tray. And just get a cake stand or something and put on top of it. And just like that, you can have a very simple tiered tray. All right, so we're going to start with the main part of this craft project, and that is the tiered tray. So I found these items at the Dollar Tree. First, I found these stove covers, and they came in a set of two. And then I got a pizza pan and a candlestick. This is a glass candlestick and then a bud vase. And then to attach everything, I'm using Gorilla Glue. And then I had some leftover spray paint from another project and that will finish off our tiered tray. So first I'm kind of playing around and figuring out how this is gonna go and how do I want the candlestick, which position do I want it to be in? I'm pretty happy with that configuration. So then I just attached the bud vase to the pizza pan. And the pizza pan is facing up. And for the bud vase, I'm putting some Gorilla Glue around the rim, and then I'm going to attach that to the center of the pizza pan. And for the second tier, I'm going to use the larger stove cover and just put some of the glue on the top or the bottom, I guess you could say, of the bud vase. And I find that the Gorilla Glue works just like the E6000 and it was what I had, so that was what I decided to use. And by attaching the stove plate like this, it gives a little bit of a rim and that will make a really nice tray for the second level. And for the third level, I put some glue on the top of the candlestick and then attached it. And then once again, I put some glue on the top portion of the candlestick for the third tier to go on.
And it's a little bit challenging to make sure all of the pieces line up in the center of the tray. As you can see, it's like, ooh, that's not centered. Ooh, now it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there it is. That is centered. And this is the first step of our tiered tray. And then once the glue was dry and the pieces were firmly attached, then I just used some spray paint and spray painted everything white. And you can do whatever color you want. If you wanted a gray one, if you wanted a white one, or even metal, whatever color you want it to be, this is where you get to be a little creative. And you can make your tiered tray whatever you want it to be. But for me, I had white spray paint and I liked the white look, so that's what I did. And I did this in several coats. So I applied one coat, I let it dry, and then I applied another coat of the spray paint. I was very careful to make sure I didn't have any runs and I did one side at a time. And what I mean by that is this is the upright side. So I'm doing this side first. And then once it was completely dry, I flipped it over and spray painted the bottom portion. And once I had my spray painting done, I wanted to give the tiered tray time to dry. So I decided to do a couple of fillers that are going to go on this tray. And these are some votive candle holders that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I really liked the pattern that was on them. And I had some almond colored spray paint and I thought that would look really fall. So I just spray painted the votive holders with the almond paint. And by putting the glass jars on the box, it makes it really easy to turn. So I just have to stand there and just turn the box. And that way I can easily paint all sides of the candle holders. But like I said, these aren't gonna be candle holders anymore. These are gonna be little vases. And I think they'll look really nice on the tiered tray. I really like this spray paint. This is just Rust-Oleum spray paint that you can use on metal or plastic. And this one has a gloss finish, so it'll be nice and shiny. And this is how they turned out after a couple of coats of the spray paint. They have a really nice shine to them. And I just want to add a little bit of decoration. So I took some jute cord and then I just tied it and wrapped it around the top edge of the candle holder, which is now a vase. And just like that, a votive holder has been turned into a vase. And this is a tiered tray that I got at the Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree Plus section for $5. So you don't have to necessarily DIY a tiered tray. You can find them very affordably if you know where to look. And then you just add your own decorations and you have a very festive display. And I also found affordable tiered trays on Amazon. Now this is a really pretty tiered tray. It was less than $30 and I found it on Amazon. Yeah, I didn't have anything that was like this. I wanted just a simple two tiered tray that was more of a farmhouse style. So that was why I chose this tray. And I have to say it's actually very, very nice. It's two tiers, a small one and a large one. 
and it came with instructions of how to assemble it, but honestly, this is really easy to put together. And I like the fact that I can assemble it, so if I need the space, I can actually unassemble my tiered tray and put it in a closet or even put it back into the original box. So see, it's very simple to assemble. You just put the pieces onto that metal dowel. I guess it's a metal dowel, metal rod. And then you secure that to the bottom tray with a little nut that goes right on the bottom. And voila, I have a tiered tray for less than $30. And again, I found this on Amazon. So now that I have this tiered tray, I'm going to decorate it, right? So it is fall, so I'm going to go ahead and get some different fall pieces to put onto the tray. And if you want to see my other fall tiered trays, go ahead and click on that little link up above for the video showing how I decorated my tiered tray. Now these are so awesome. I think they're called Pootka Pods and I have left a link in the description box below so you can check them out on Amazon. These look like tiny little pumpkins but I guess they are a pod from a tree from what I've learned from Australia. So I just took some of those Pootka Pods and I put it into a glass vase that I got from the Dollar Tree. And here is my Amazon tiered tray decorated and ready for fall. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of those tiered tray tutorials and I can't wait to see you in the next video.